we want to draw the Lewis structure of calcium bromide CaBr2. Well, let's start by drawing Lewis diagrams for each of those atoms. Ca calcium is in the second column, so it brings two valence electrons with it. Ca, one, two valence electrons. Beautiful. Bromine is one of the halogens. It's in the second last column of the table, so it brings seven valence electrons. You can also know that because if it's in group 17, it has seven valence electrons. Br, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven valence electrons. Br, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven valence electrons. Now, I want to emphasize calcium comes from the left side of the periodic table. It's a metal. Bromine is on the right-hand side of the staircase. It's a non-metal. This is going to be an ionic compound, metal plus non-metal. So the metal is going to give away its electrons entirely. The non-metals want a full eight electrons. That's what the octet rule is all about. So the count, one of the calcium's electrons go here to the bromine. The other electron goes here to pair up with that unpaired electron from the other bromine. The final Lewis structure for this is going to have Ca with no electrons around it because it gave away both of its valence electrons. We put square brackets around it if it gained or lost electrons and show the charge in the top right corner. You've made a Ca plus two ion. Likewise, bromine now has eight electrons each, one more than the seven it started with, so it now has a minus one charge. Your teacher might want you to draw both of those bromines. This is your final Lewis structure for CaBr2. You might get away with drawing the calcium with the plus two charge and then doing two times one of those bromines. Some teachers will let you take that as a shortcut so you don't have to write that out so many times. But hey, I prefer this one kind of symmetrical. Anyways, there's your Lewis structure. Thanks for being with me and trusting me. It means a lot. Best of luck.